Zombie Apocalypse. <laughs> What is going on everybody, Flawless Reaper here and today I'm bringing you guys my episode 1 of my new tips and tricks series and today we're actually going to be covering Battlefield 1. Now I just recently started playing this game over on the PS4 and overall this game is insanely hard. Now a lot of people were thinking before coming into Battlefield 1 that this game was going to be really easy. Now let me be the first one to tell you this game is not easy whatsoever. I usually play solo so I definitely got destroyed in a lot of the games that I played. Although my weapons are not that great I could tell you firsthand that the weapons in this game don't have an insane amount of damage so you can't melt people with one to two shots this is not Call of Duty this is not Battlefield 4 and this is not Battlefield Hardline this is a brand new game, brand new mechanics, and everything is pretty much brand new. Overall, I've been playing Team Deathmatch, same as I always have played. I don't really enjoy playing with tanks and everything like that. I find it to be a little bit too hectic for me. I will give it a try though. Maybe it's good in this game. I don't really know. But you guys will be seeing in the background the best way to play Battlefield 1 for me and the best way that I've seen so far is to play slow guys take your time flank don't get into too many gunfights because your health bar does go down dramatically from anything pistols smgs anything it doesn't really matter what the hell you're using your health will just go down really really quickly so you definitely got to be careful with that also just don't get into a lot of long range engagements because a lot of people are using snipers in this game and a lot of people are actually really good with them so you should definitely be careful with what you do now Battlefield 1 maps are really really big and I guess you can't really see everybody on the mini map. I don't know what the hell is the deal with the mini map. You can't really see uh, the enemies when they're shooting on the mini map and things like that. I really don't know what the hell is going on. Why you can't see enemies firing on the mini map. Sometimes you can't even see allies on the mini map because if you guys see in the mini map right now and I'm looking. I can't really see the enemy like I'm firing at him and like the enemy was firing at somebody else you actually can't see that on the mini map I don't really know what's going on with that but hopefully I get sorted real quick because I definitely would like to see the enemies when they're shooting on the mini map so I can go behind them and kill them and that would be a really good tip also guys tap fire that is very key in this game if you guys want long range engagements and you guys really enjoy getting long range kills definitely tap fire this is not a game where you can just pull down the freaking trigger and expect to get a kill sometimes you will get it don't get me wrong if you guys are really insanely accurate you guys could do that but for me i tap fire when i'm going against long range and the damage drop off in this game is really big so you guys got to keep that in mind also like i said try and keep your gunfights minimal so get into one gunfight then get into cover then go into another gunfight the maximum i think you can get in this game personally for me is like a like a double kill maybe even a triple if they're really really bad but double kills are really hard in this game just because your health goes down very very quickly there's a lot of grenades spam there's a lot of smokes there's a lot of gas there's a lot of bombs going everywhere it's a really hectic war game and i'm really enjoying it to be honest but you guys definitely got to be careful with how you get into lobbies definitely don't play solo that's another tip you guys playing solo is very very hard especially on this game you need some communication and you should be with somebody else at all times so you increase your chance of survival and getting more kills as you guys can see in this map, everybody's camping in this building, but I was playing solo so I had no other choice than to go in and try and destroy them, which I kind of succeeded at the same time I did it. Also guys, another tip for this game is don't be expecting to get 30, 40, and 50 kills. This is not like Battlefield 4. Battlefield 4 you can drop a 40, a 50, I've even seen people drop 100, and it's crazy. This game, I don't see anybody hitting 100 kills. I don't see that yet. I could be wrong, maybe somebody has already hit 100 kills in some weird game mode. I know in Team Deathmatch that is practically impossible. Getting a freaking 30 in Team Deathmatch in this game is really good already. So I don't really know what to expect. I don't know what the standards are for this game. Overall for me, I'm dropping like 15 to 20 kills tops. I guess just because I'm a noob and I'm trying to get used to the game. Guys, follow these tips and you guys will do good. Don't get into long range engagements. I highly stress that and just watch your aim and definitely play with teammates. That could definitely help you. I'll see you guys in my next video.